everyone, it's Celeste and welcome to my booktube channel. Today I want to talk about the best books that I've read in 2018. Um, these books are not necessarily published in 2018, it's just that I read them in 2018, so uh, yeah, um, that's the ones I'm going to talk about. And I didn't plan a specific number of books to talk about. I just went through my Goodreads and looked at all the four and five star books and then I compiled a list. Now on the four star books I didn't list all the four star books because so, I mean I don't break my star ratings down into percentages but some of them are better four star books than others and uh, so anyway so I, I didn't list all the four star books so okay so uh, the, and these aren't in a particular order I'm going in the order that I wrote them down I have a little journal that I write in um, so they're in the order that I wrote them on the page but uh, that doesn't mean that it's not from like best you know the best to the worst or vice versa or whatever okay so first one for 2018 is I did a reread of Illuminae. This is my physical copy of Illuminae. My reread this year was on Audible because I heard that the Audible version um, is fantastic and it is fantastic. And so I love Illuminae. I love the mixed media, the characters. It's very fast paced and for something that's so like sci-fi and fantastical it's like so believable. So, and I just, it's a story, I just, uh, that's why I reread it, because I, I just thought it was great the first time, and I loved it the second time just as much. The Audible is, version is really, really, really good. Um, the next one I want to talk about is Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. Um, this is very atmospheric, and it's set in Iceland, in the 1800s and I'm sure you've heard about it because it was really hyped several years ago but um, I was reading this for my the book club that I'm in in real life and so um, finally gave me the kick in the butt that I needed to get into it and I did and what I did is I listened to it on audible and then read the book along with it and that was a really fun way to get through it um, really pushed me through it um, it, um, and, and, it, and as well as being atmospheric, the characters are really rich and the story is really compelling and it's based on true people, like real events. So there's that. Um, the next one I wanted to talk about, I don't have a physical book for it. I read it on my Kindle, but it's Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. And it's a story about a young black girl and she goes to a school that she but she rides a bus across the city so she lives with her mother and I think her uncle and in one part of town and rides a bus across town um, and it's about her um, sort of negotiating the gap between this world that she's going to school in and this world that she associates like she sees herself as a meaningful part of um, she makes friends and she has these dreams and these goals. She gets involved in this group that is about um, uh, enriching the lives of young black girls and her relationships that she builds from that group are also really compelling and so I gave it five stars and just thought it was great. I'm looking forward to reading more by Renee Watson. Um, the next one that I wanted to talk about is Hunger by Roxane Gay. Ooh, is it going to show up? There it goes. Hunger by Roxane Gay. Um, this is a memoir. It is hard-hitting. She talks about weight. She talks about like the things that we do to our bodies and how uh, parts of our lives and people in our lives impact us. And... I mean, if, and of course, um, being a feminist writer, like, she has, like, these, this message about women, especially how we endure things, and we reflect that, like, on our bodies, and 
I just thought it was powerful and I think more people should read it. Um, let's see, the next three are by Shauna McGuire. So I think they're on a lot of people's lists this year. Um, I listened to Every Heart of Doorway on Audible. And then I read Down Among the Sticks and Bones. I have a physical copy of that. And then I listened to Beneath the Sugar Sky on Audible because when I was done with Down Among the Sticks and Bones, I really wanted to move to the next book. And it was late, so I just uh, got on Audible and started listening to it. I couldn't wait for a physical copy of it. Um, what I love about those books, um, Shauna McGuire has characters that have meaningful uh, conflict. And I'm not saying that in other books and other characters don't, but I am saying that uh, their struggles are really authentic in the way that she writes them. And so it's, it's really, as a reader, it makes me want to get to know them better. Um, she's also got a lot of diversity and this really interesting idea about these children for ages we've heard about going into these other worlds but we don't always talk about the aftermath of that and that's what Shauna McGuire is exploring in these books and I find that just really fascinating and just amazing like what do you do next right like how, how do you live the rest of your life you know um, and so those three books are on this list. Um, and she has another one coming out um, in January. And I have already pre-ordered it because I am excited. I am, I am a fan. Um, the next one uh, that I have, the next three that I actually have are all on Audible. I had a really good Audible year. Like, for me, I was picking books on Audible that I just really, uh, I really connected to really enjoyed um the first one that i want to talk about is fuzzy nation by john scalzi this is a piece of sci-fi um in a world that's established as far as uh people are traveling to these different worlds these, these there's a corporation there's m multiple corporations sort of a bureaucracy set up and it's about this guy who goes to this world and they're they're a mining company i believe and he realizes that there's meaningful life on this world and and according to the laws if there's meaningful life um sentient beings uh, then they can't do their mining because it's so detrimental to the world and the and and how things play out and his real relationships with these sentient beings is just so wonderful like i can't tell you how many times i was listening to it and i just went oh that's so sweet um it's not the best writing in the world but i thoroughly enjoyed it and that's why i put it on this list okay the next two are both stephen king books that i listened to on audible um salem's lot uh, I think a lot of people know about Salem's Lot, but it's a vampire novel, and it's classic Stephen King from the 70s, and I just adored it. I loved it. The narration was great, and I just got back into the groove of King's writing, and I think listening to it uh, pushed me along in it better than if I had sat down and read it with a physical copy. And then I also listened to Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery was wonderful it was the version that i listened to was narrated by michael c hall and if you've ever if if you don't know who that is he played dexter on the showtime series and his voice was just so soothing and wonderful and 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 it just added to the creepy vibe because if you watch the show he was a serial killer who hunted other serial killers so there was already like this dark and creepiness to like associated with him and his voice and then listening to Pet Cemetery and I am excited for the movie coming out into the spring now because after reading uh, listening to Pet Cemetery reading it on Audible um wonderful Stephen King book um had all the elements that I was looking for I didn't even mind the endings on Salem's Lot and Pet Cemetery. I know people have issues with King endings. I didn't have endings with I didn't have issues with the endings on those two. And then the last one that I wanted to talk about in this list is The Wicked Deep by Shay and Earnshaw. Um, I think a lot of people enjoyed this book this year. I think some people didn't enjoy that book this year. Um, I found it 
uh, a lot of fun to read. Uh, it was very atmospheric. Um, the characters were interesting. Um, I was just a little squeaked out by sort of this idea of these witches taking over the bodies of these teenage girls. Like, that kind of gave me the ick. But for the most part, I just really enjoyed it. I read it in the summer, and that's that was a good time for me to read it because a lot of it takes place in the summer. And I just, you know, I don't, I don't know what else to say. You should read it and see for yourself, like, how wonderful it could be. Or maybe not wonderful, I don't know, your opinions may vary. So, those are the top books that I read, the best books that I read in 2018. I mean, it was a pretty good reading year for me. I wish there would have been more five-star books, but the ones that I did come across, these four and five-star books, just really made it a worthwhile year for me. Um, let me know down below what are some of the best books that you've read this year for 2018. Um, I'm really interested and maybe you've got suggestions. Um, I'm also going to film my worst books of 2018 and then on um, another video about books that I feel that I just really have to get to for 2019. So stay tuned, watch out for those videos and I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!